And look, Lundqvist had his moments. He had his ups, he had his downs this series. I will give you that. But a goaltender is only going to be as good as the guys in front of him. And defensively, this was an issue for them all season long, and it manifested itself in a couple of key moments in this series. Now what about Lundqvist? I mean, is the window closing now for the Rangers to be a Stanley Cup champion with Henrik Lundqvist? There's one thing that's changed over the years in the National Hockey League. Back in the day, you would say you need the goaltender to be your best player. You need a stud goaltender to win a Stanley Cup. Look in the last decade, John. There's guys like Corey Crawford, Antti Niemi, Tim Thomas, one of your boys, Marc-Andre Fleury, you know, Matt Murray. You don't need that stud goalie anymore. Instead, you need to have a top notch center iceman. You need to have a stud defenseman. Things the Rangers don't have right now, other champions do. Maybe that's where they look to set aside their direction of where we can get better and maybe, just maybe, field some offers for King Henrik. What no, do you think? No. What do you think? What this, do you think? this always happens. Every year, the Rangers get knocked out of the playoffs. Oh, you got to trade Henrik Lundqvist. Got to get rid of Lundqvist. First of all, Henrik's 35. You're not going to get great value for Henrik Lundqvist. Secondly, I don't know it's, that. It's not his – It's not his. he's not the problem, okay? He wasn't the reason they lost this series. You make a great point. You need a great center. You need a great defenseman, okay? The center is Rick Nash. He can be that guy. We've seen him have that ability unless the playoffs start. Then all of a sudden, he disappears. Then – The window's the, closing on that one. I'll give you that. And the great defenseman, I love Ryan McDonough. But McDonough can't stay healthy. He's not in Eric Carlson's class. He's not in Drew Doughty's class. Class, he's a, Keith, not in that class. He's the captain of the team, and he's a solid defenseman. And the thing I like about the Rangers, they put a lot of youth on ice this season. I expect the Rangers to win 100, to get 100 plus points, and even make the playoffs this year. I like what BC brings to the table. Grabner, great speed on the outside, but they don't generate the offense you need to to win in the playoffs. Against Montreal, they didn't need it because Montreal is the most boring team in hockey. You win two games, excuse me, you score two goals, you're going to beat Carey Price. With Ottawa. They had that dynamic offense. They had Peugeot, who came out of nowhere. But uh, Broussard, who played pretty well for them, getting traded for Sabanaj. Right. And then, of course, you have Bobby Ryan, all the other guys who made a difference. As I said before, Eric, he, Carlson, he is the Norris. On Kobe one way. foot, by the way. Yeah. On one playing foot. Playing and, th and that's the best part of the NHL playoffs. Everybody's playing. And he was the best player on the ice. That can't be disputed. But again, back to Henrik for a second. You may think that he may, you may not get great value for him on the open market. And that might be the case. But I still think it's their due diligence that maybe they have to pick up the phone and say, shot. Who's going to trade for a, a team that needs, year old goalie. a team that's ready to win now and needs a goaltender, which they think they can put him over the top. Not to say that Tampa Bay is that team. They have Vasilevsky. They got rid of Bishop because they couldn't sign him. But a team like that that maybe is only a goaltender away, I think you could maybe find a fit there. Look at Cam Talbot, his former backup. He's one win away from the conference finals with the Oilers. He's playing great okay, in Edmonton. You, I mean, you can, Anthony Veronta, you can play with and win with. Every year I hear it. Dallas needs a goalie. They Something do. Something needs a goalie. Arizona needs a goalie. Guess what? Henrik's not going anywhere okay he plays well in New York and he's like he you heard him at the end he was upset that he lost he was putting on his own shoulders John, if Wayne he's Gretzky a can guy. get traded Henrik Lundqvist can get traded but Wayne Gretzky had a lot left in him more than I think oh Henrik you could Lundqvist, but Lundqvist you could still get a couple of years a Dominic Kotchik went to the Red Wings he was almost 40 and helped him win Stanley Cup look Come I on. think Rangers can win with Henrik Lundqvist between the pipes they need to get a couple more guys on the offense and one solid defenseman I think that's really all they need they happen to play in the top Toughest division in hockey, and even though they had the easy path, Ottawa was the better team in this series, even though it didn't show statistically. You saw the time of position. Ottawa led for what? Less than right. 10 minutes? Plus, I said five on five. Series? The Rangers were the better team, and you know what the Rangers will do? They'll go and throw a bunch of money at Kevin Shattenkirk right now, who's with the Capitals, offensive minded defenseman, but it's still not going to cure those defensive woes. That they I have. just don't want to hear the trade, Henrik. Henrik's not going anywhere. Oh, I don't know about that. I thought you could have maybe looked to move him last year when they lost in the first round. The Rangers are going to be just fine. They were better than they were last year. Year, they're going to be better next year. Mm.